first award, um, it's been an incredibly testing time for all of us over the past 14 months, that's fair to say, but the way that the club have been able to operate and continue to move forward at the academy level has been nothing short of remarkable. The staff have adapted while still working tirelessly and the players at all levels have relished more than ever their opportunities to get out on the pitch and play the sport they love. We've enjoyed some eye-catching uh, displays at all age groups and results. We've welcomed the arrival of David Hughes as the head of academy coaching. And we've seen the, the pathway opened up to first team football and that's been well and truly illuminated of late with four youngsters graduating into the first team ranks and making their championship debuts in the last few months and a further seven having been involved in match day squads over the course of the season. And it's one of those players who has taken that step into the City first team and done so with incredible poise and incredible promise, I'm sure you'd agree, who we honour with our first award this afternoon, your 2021 Academy Player of the Year, Ruben Colwell. Ruben, congratulations, Academy Player of the Year. Run me through sort of the, the last 12 months. Not only if we had COVID, but you started off playing under 23 football. You're now an integral part of Mick McCarthy's side. What, what, what's the last uh, football season been like for you? Yeah, it's been a bit of a surreal season, to be honest. I think with COVID starting it off, it couldn't get any more weird than that. But uh, yeah, started off with the 23s and then slowly worked my way up into a, to a starting position. And I think I've done well the last six months there. And then... Mick and TC have come in and I think they showed a lot of faith in me to put me in the team and put me training with them and stuff and I think I've done well. I think they put they give me the opportunity and I think I've grasped it and I think, yeah, I just want to say thanks to them as well because I couldn't have, uh, kind of been playing without them putting, putting me in the team and stuff. But, yeah. You certainly have grasped the opportunity. This is a, an individual award. Just, just quickly run me through, because maybe the kind of City Academy doesn't get enough uh, applauded. You've been there for, uh, at every age group, the, the, the coaching, the work that goes into the academy. I suppose your, uh, your evidence that, that things are going in the right way. Yeah, well, I've been there a long time, and I think I see, I've seen everything. Every coach has been there over the last 10 years, so <laughs> the amount of work they put in is, is crazy, really. Like They're there all day, every day, weekends, everything. The amount of effort they put into the players from age of eight up to 23 is just, it's, well, it's, it's unbelievable really. And it's a credit to them that there's so many of us coming through now, like me, Isaac, Kieran, Bose, all there today, so, yeah. You know, obviously there is still that step up to, to, to men's football. You played very well in your first two games, but I suppose playing against experienced centre-halves, that sort of thing, uh, it, it, the last couple of games have seen a real eye-opener for you. Yeah, the physicality is a lot different from 23s to championship football, I think. So it takes a while to get used to and stuff, and uh, yeah, I think it's a, it's a big step up. But I think the the, cult, the 23s coaches, they, they drill into us perfection and analysis sessions when we need to improve, and I think that's helped me a lot to get ready for first-team football. So. And just finally, Ruben, what, what are the aspirations now? You, you, you've broken into the first team. McCarthy said you'll be a, a, a squad member next year. What, what, what's the plans for you for your, for your next season of football? Yeah, I think I just want to play as much as I can, really, and do as well as I can. I'm going to have a good off-season. I'll work hard, work on things I need to improve and try and come back next season better player. And then play as much as I can next season and try and help the team as much as, much as I can. So. Well, Ruben, it's been a real pleasure watching development this year. Uh, Academy Player of the Year, many congratulations. Yeah, cheers, thank you very much. Academy Player of the Year there, Ruben Colwell, and very huge congratulations from us all at Cardiff City Football Club. Now, the Cardiff City women have endured a frustration time of things as COVID restrictions put pay to their season for a, for a three and a half month enforced mid-season break. Uh, yet, they are now unbeaten in nine games since resuming play in the middle of March, despite working their way through a hectic and significant backlog. Two wins this past week means that the third consecutive third place finish in the Welsh Women's Premier League is all but assured. 
and a huge contributing factor for that have been the goals of young striker who's got 15 in 15 in all competitions and that's why she is the Cardiff City Women's Young Player of the Year, Phoebe Poole. Congratulations on being named Women's Young Player of the Year. Um, you must be delighted. Yeah, thank you. I'm over the moon. I didn't really expect to be in the first women's team, never mind winning this award. So I'm really happy. And I think it's definitely the highlight of my season so far. 15 goals in 15 games, over 20 goal contributions in your first season. It's been something special, hasn't it? Yeah, it definitely has. The best team I could have asked for joining my first season in women's football. I've learned so much from the girls and the coaching staff already. I'm in every game and every training session. I couldn't have asked for a better team to join. That's a 16 year old Phoebe Poole there, a remarkable young woman going great places in this game. Now, the player of the year for the women's team has had an even greater impact on the side and that's why she's about to pick up her award, obviously. Yet, uh, she's done so in a very different era of the pitch. She's the team's captain, their leader and their absolute rock in defence. Cardiff City Women's Player of the Year for 2021 is Siobhan Walsh. Congratulations on being named Women's Player of the Season. How does it feel to receive this award from your teammates and the staff at the club? Um, I wasn't really expecting it. I, I think there's plenty of other girls who could have won it this season, so I'm just grateful that to have received the votes from, from obviously my teammates and the coaches as well. You've been with the club a long time now and led by example as the captain. How do you feel the season's gone for you and the team? It's obviously been a strange one with stopping and starting. I think with the prolonged season that we've been able to develop and bring the 19s in and we've been able to work on how, how we want to play and, and develop and look to the future kind of thing and build for next season. Delighted to say we have got a city captain. An inductee into this, uh, into this season's EFL Championship Team of the Year, Sean Morrison with us, and also we have PFA Player in the Community winner for 2021, Will Volks. Sean, this has been such a strange testing season for all involved. Now that it's coming to a close, how are you able to, to look back and reflect on it? Uh, I think it's been obviously a disappointment. We, we, we set out to make the top six and we haven't been able to do that this year. We've just not been consistent enough. We've had good Good spells, bad spells, and um, we've learned a lot, I think, this year. I think we've struggled a bit with injury um, in a, important parts of the season. We lost Kiefer at a vital part of the season, uh, the Swansea home game, um, and that knocked us for six, really, because we rely on him heavily. He's, been, he's had a fantastic year, so, uh, yeah, look, we'll, we'll try and do better next year, um, come back pre-season and have a right go. Well, congratulations on your award. The Community Foundation has done a huge amount this year, hasn't it, during the pandemic, supporting those who need their help most across across South Wales, That's be that checking in on mental well-being with people, supporting homeschooling. Now, you've been at the forefront of that and, and have been rightly acknowledged for it with your award. How encouraging has it 
been to see the club and the wider football community step up in, in such challenging times? Yeah, the foundation's done amazing things since the pandemic started, previous to the pandemic as well, but we've really stepped up at a time where people need them, especially for young people's mental health and uh, and just going that extra extra little yard to make sure that people are okay and, and checking in. And you know, It's been a lonely time for a lot of people, so it, it is vitally important. Sean, Championship Team of the Year inductee, must be, must be very honoured when you look at an awful lot of the other players in there, they are in the teams that are, that are going to go up automatically. Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, it was voted by the managers, right? I think that was right, yeah. So, no, it's, it's, look, it's a, nice, it's, it's a nice feeling to know that managers in this league have put me forward and um, think that I should be in Team of the Year. Yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, me and Grant Hanley at the back, two big bus heads. <laughs> <laughs> That's some big heads, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but no, look, the players in that team, uh, I think there's four or five Norwich players and uh, very honoured to be in that team and um, yeah, feel very lucky to be. And I guess for your award, it's, it's, it's not the type of thing you get into football to get accolades for, <laughs> no. but to be recognised and to be acknowledged for that, I, I guess, is quite touching. Yeah, it's nice. Um, it's always a, a little bit awkward, these kind of things, because you know, Moz is for how good he's been on the football pitch, which he thoroughly deserves. I haven't been, you know, centre half in any team in this league and the league, the league above. He could definitely play in, but um, this this award for me, yeah, it's nice, but it, it it's a bit embarrassing in a way. It's like it's an award to say basically he's a nicer person than everyone else in our, <laughs> everyone else in the league. <laughs> he's the nicest guy That's ever. That's definitely not true. Just been sent off straight red. <laughs> Well, I think I speak from everyone at the football club and I say thank you for the contribution oh, you have made. Thank you for the contribution you've obviously made on the pitch as well. I mean, look at your arm. You know. I know. It's, it's the same soldier. as any other season for you, isn't yeah, it? A slew of injuries, you strap up, yourself up again. and off you go. We all saw the photo of the, yeah. of the, the blister on, yeah. on social media. I'll be fine. Yeah, great. Thanks for joining us. I think I'm going to ask you to stick around for a little bit. But first, we are going to take a break from chatting to the players and handing out awards. And we are going to go and see an interview that my colleague Mark Denham did with a gaffer reflecting on this season also. Uh, a little earlier this afternoon. Nick, thanks for joining us on a match day. I know it's very busy for you ahead of kickoff here, but uh, as part of our uh, awards show, we're just looking ahead really. We're just about to see who play with the season is. Um, and I think, well, I'll ask you to put in your own words, there's quite a few who could be in the mix for that. Well, it's a, it's a pleasure to be able to do it. I know it's match day, but everything's been different this year, hasn't it? So it's just a shame that we can't have a, a presentation of, uh, of awards to them. Yeah, there have been some good performances. I mean, I can only say it's from January. But, you know, if you talk about uh, Sean Morrison, I thought his role was excellent in the, in the piece. Uh, just a really good leader, good captain, and it was really disappointing for him and all of us that he, uh, that he ended up with his dislocated elbow, which was a very strange injury. Uh, I think Will Vokes has had a great time since I've, I've come in. Uh, Kiefer Moore with his goals, of course. Harry Wilson, I mean, the hat-trick that he got last week. Uh, that was a bit like Sheffield Wednesday, that. They had five unbelievable goals and we had four last week. I'm not so sure there was five and four goals between us, but that's the difference when it happens and he's been terrific. So, yeah, some good, uh, good performances all around from people. We've seen a few awards already this morning, Women's Player of the Season and Young Women's Player of the Season, but most recently Academy Player of the Season or Young Player, Ruben Colwell, breakthrough year for him and uh, I think that smile says it all. Oh, for sure. I, uh, TC was doing a, a session one Sunday morning. We'd played and we'd do a recovery session afterwards with the players. Well, some of them just had a little bit of the game, others train who hadn't played, and we had the 23s, uh, under-23s with us. And I'm watching the, the session and I'm thinking, who the hell is he? I didn't know him. I'd only been here for a couple of weeks. Wow, he, he lit the session up. And, and then he came and trained with us. Uh, as did Isaac Davis, actually, another one that uh, lit the place up one morning. And he's just continued to grow and get better and better. And his last two performances have been terrific in the first team. So I'm really pleased for him. He's, uh, he looks like being a, a really good player for, for Cardiff City. A couple of auxiliary awards, not club awards, but EFL awards as well. Sean Morrison named in Team of the Season, we've touched on him already. And Will Folks for his community work, community play of the year. Um, in the country. That says a lot about him as a man, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I can see that in terms of his personality. You know, he's, uh, he's very inclusive. He's about the team. He's very caring, quite clearly, with, with the award that he's got. And we should congratulate him because he just had a, his part, him and his partner just had a baby, so that's congratulations to him as well. Uh, and to win that award, I think it just shows how he, 
is integrated into this Cardiff society and, and helping other people that are probably less fortunate than him. So I, I really uh, I admire him for that. I think it's a, a great job. Well done by uh, by Will. It'll be a busy summer, no doubt about it. Some some going, some coming in. One thing that I'm sure you'll absolutely be delighted about is that this should be the last time we play to an empty Cardiff City Stadium. Do you know how many will be back in August? There'll be some, fingers crossed. Well, you know, let, let's hope the, the the pandemic and the numbers of people getting it and, and deaths really subside and it gets cleared to the point where we can get everything back to normal. You know, and we're, we're, we're concerned about getting fans back in the stadium. That'd be fantastic because Everybody's missed them. Every club's missed them. It's everybody keeps saying it's not. It's quite clearly it's not the same without them. But it does just make such a difference. I think it does for them as well. I can imagine them sat at home screaming at the computers. <laughs> they'd sooner be here and maybe having a pint at half time and a pie or whatever they do, and being able to uh, to enjoy it while being in the stadium. And I, I look forward to seeing them back. Delighted to say, I am still joined by Will Vaux, who for a second year running has just won the Cardiff City goal of the season. Will, my, my first question to you is, I mean, you won for Blackburn last season with that chip with the outside of his right boot. You've just won for the goal against Brentford from the halfway line or there or thereabouts. How much further back next season are you going to have to score from to, to get the award? Yeah, start taking the goal kicks. <laughs> um, nah, yeah, obviously really pleased. I knew at the time it was a good, good strike and... Yeah, I'd like, I'd like to get a, a couple of more tappings, like to <laughs> to bring the tally up a bit. Um, something I wanted to bring when I came to the club was some goals, so it's nice to score score a couple of good ones. But like I said, I'd like to get a few more numbers in there next year, and hopefully, yeah, maybe another one from my own half as well. <laughs> I say, you had two worthy worthy candidates in the running actually with the ten. The, the goal against Derby, right at the death, was in there as well. You know, it's uh, you, you can hit the ball from distance, can you? <laughs> Yeah, it's one thing I've always been able to do is hit the ball pretty hard, shut my eyes and hit it as hard as I can. And uh, yeah, the, the one against Brentford, I, I had seen that the, the uh, goalie was off his line for a lot of the first half, so I was desperate to get that opportunity. But to hit that kind of thing, you, you need the right situation. You can't just obviously do it from anywhere. And it just so happened that it fell to me in the right area. And Bobby Glass will give me a perfect set. And I just thought uh, there was a minute left of the first half. I was, I was hitting it. And, I was watching it for a while, it was starting to fall away, but it, it just sneaked in. It's definitely the best goal of my career, I think. I don't think I did it justice on commentary, because I must admit, I was looking crossfield. <laughs> I thought you were hitting a crossfield ball. Uh, yeah. So um, we were thinking, I was reflecting with Sean on, on, on the season and how it's been. Do you think it would have had an impact if the fans were in attendance for, for that goal? <laughs> well, yeah, it would have been nice. Uh, yeah, I think uh, the place probably would have been quite loud at that point. And it was really disappointing, actually, not to win that game. Um, I scored it. Another goal. That's the first time I've ever scored two in a game. That in that game as well, and we we got beat three two in the end. Um, so that took the edge off it a bit. But it's nice to re reflect and enjoy it again, I guess. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations on your award again for the second year running. Will Vox, you have won the Cardiff City Goal of the Season. Thank you very much. Now, just the one award remaining, and that being the club's illustrious Player of the Season. Now, despite the struggles of such a unique season and the disappointed of just missing out on the playoffs after such a valiant surge up the table following Mick McCarthy's arrival earlier this calendar year, there's been no shortage of candidates for this award once again. City produced some stellar attacking performances throughout the course of the campaign, especially at home, where they've put a number of teams to the sword. They've scored three or more on seven occasions uh, just a shame that obviously those goals and those games were played in front of a largely empty stadium. Away from home, we saw a number of fine rearguard performances. No more so than the 1-0 derby win over Swansea, which helped protect that unique record of no side having ever completed a league double in the history of that fixture. And there was also a victory in the seven-side derby, also both helping to soften the memories of the reverse fixtures. And in amongst that, there was one man who managed to achieve something that no Bluebird player has in a decade, and that reached the 20 goal a season mark. The first since Jay Bothroyd in 10-11, the first since the late great Peter Whittingham to do so in championship play alone. Witt himself was a two-time recipient of this award, and now this man joins him on that roll of honour. The first striker since Michael Chopra, in 27, 
the first Welshman since Robert Earnshaw in 2006. It's an honour and a privilege to say that your 2021 player of the season is Kiefer Moore. Kiefer, congratulations, Cardiff City Player of the Season. You came in last summer as the Wales number nine, the marquee uh, signing, but you've delivered. You've uh, had that pressure on you. You've scored those goals. Uh, you must be buzzing about this year. Yeah, I'm buzzing. You know, always passing awards are always nice, and to, to hit some targets I set out for myself at the beginning of the season is has been really good. And you know, I can I only can thank everyone who um, voted for me to to win Player of the Season. And I'm thrilled, and you know. I'm, hard work just carries on from here. We marvel at you in the, in the commentary box. You're good on the uh, ground. You take a battering every week. People talk about you being tight. How are you feeling in yourself right now? <laughs> no, I feel good, you know. Um, I know what this league's about. Um, I know it's, it's physical, it's demanding, um, and it, it takes its toll. But I feel, you know, we've, we've got some great staff here who look after each and every single player, and you make sure they get you right for every game. And, you know, this isn't just just me doing my part, it's, it's the whole club doing their part and helping each player. Uh, Mick McCarthy brought you into league football, he's now your manager again now, has he, has he changed much and obviously he's got a lot of confidence in you? Yeah, no, I wouldn't say he's changed much, he'd, he'd always be the, the same manager, you know you know what to expect from him, um, you've got to work hard, you've got to dig deep and you've got to grind out to get the results and yeah, he's, he's proven he's a very good manager and hopefully over the course of next season we can um, push on for where we want to be. Uh, it is a team game and you're very much a team player, but you said personal accolades and to get this going into to the Euros now, uh, football at the moment is, is pretty good for you. Yeah, you can say so. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm you know, what, I just I'm just loving my football here. And that was one of the main reasons I wanted to sign here. I knew a lot about the club and I knew I knew I'd thrive here. And obviously to get this personal accolade before going to the Euros is, you know, just another little confidence booster for me. So. I'm going to take every bit to, to the Euros and you know, have a successful campaign there. And Kiefer, just finally, unfortunately no Cardiff City fan has, has seen you play in person this season. Yeah. Any, any message to the fans because you are a fan favourite? No, thank you for voting for me. Um, you know, speaking about why I signed uh, the fans was one of the reasons. And, you know, this, this season has been very different. Um, not getting to play in front of you and this, this atmosphere. Um, but it's something we can all look forward to next season. And, um, I'll see you soon, I guess. Kiefer, Cardiff City Player of the Year, congratulations again. Thank you. Cheers.